And what's interesting here is actually it's made of very cheap components. Uh, it's a metal rod. And this is high density polyethylene? I didn't, no, it's not the polypropylene. Sorry, so this is polypropylene. And this is a rubber foot. So this is distributed and sold at about $100, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, Nicaragua, for example, uh, which is actually pretty expensive for the That's developing insane. world. So if you look at it, uh, again, things are different in different developing countries. Yeah. So we have things in India, for example. This is called the, the Japer Foot, produced by the Japer Foot Organization in India. And it's a rubber foot. Uh, and this is kind of the standard right now, except for this knee part right here. This is high density, poly, uh, high density polyethylene. HTP, and it's reason we use it is because it's very available, it's cheap, it's easy to form. You know, this is handmade foot, uh, this is all handmade also. Um, you know, a very simple uh, manufacturing process where you have, a, involves a lot of local people, it employs a lot of people also, um, and by this organization. But we also want to do some innovation, you know, we want to have some sort of innovative designs here. So Ken Endo actually developed an exo knee, which is a, a knee stance lock mechanism. So the way it works is that it swings, and then it can land at any angle, and then stick there. This solves a big issue yeah. that a lot of amputees have. They fall a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So from beginning to end, it's us going there. You know, we come from MIT. We visit a clinic, and there's a group of prosthetists, people that are sort of trained to fit prosthetics, and they're local. So they're in part of whatever community is out there serving them. Um, they also hire a lot of people. I, think, I guess, uh, I'm not sure if they're paid or they're volunteers. At the they're paid, of course. Okay. Yes. So they're paid at the J. Ford organization by the number of uh, legs they fit. So they, it's this group of people that are locals. Um, there's some more experienced people that are, for example, we have a collaborator there who has an, a, is a doctor, mm -hmm. you know, who works in some of these clinics. 